Hi, it's Hopkey, and welcome to this screencast looking at how to generate um, a Google API key to use within Pano 2 VR. Right, well, if you're new to Pano 2 VR on Google Street View, um, basically you'll need to get yourself a Google account. Um, if you click the sign in button, you'll be given a screen very much like this. You click create account and follow the on screen instructions. I've already got one set up, so I'm just going to um, uh, go back to the uh, search screen. So here you can see I've got my Google account and I'm logged in. And what we need to search for is Google Console. And we want Google Cloud Console. There you go. And um, we've got a link for this within our documentation as well. All right, so this is the uh, screen that you'll be given. Um, and what you need to do is select a project. Now, click New Project and give it a name. I'm going to call it um, Pano 2 VR so I know this project is purely for Pano 2 VR and the API keys to do with it. Right, so I'm going to click create. Now what we should get is uh, under notifications we get a little whirly spinner. When that's finished that tells me that the project has been created so that'll happen soon. Here we go, so we've gone to one notification that tells me basically it's done. So what I'm going to do now is go to APIs and Services and go to Dashboard. And I'm going to select the project I've just created. There we go. All right. Now, what we've got to do um, is add our APIs. So when we generate the key, we have all the APIs we require for Pano 2, uh, Pano 2 VR to function. So I'm going to click Library. And I actually need three API keys. All right, I'm going to need the uh, Maps JavaScript, which you can see. I also need one called Geo Geocoding, uh, which you can't see. And for that reason, I'm going to click uh, View All 15. All right, so that's it. And you can then see all the 15 APIs under the maps. So as I said, we want Geocoding, so I'm going to select that. And we're going to activate or, or enable that. Now, geo or, or Geocoding is used for... When you've got a Google map opened and you type a, an address in the address bar, um, you're actually using this API, um, so you actually need it, okay? So we go to APIs again to add the next one. This time around we get a list view, so you can see that I've got geocoding selected already. And the next one is Maps JavaScript API. So we're going to enable that. This is used so when you click the tour browser, um, sorry, the uh, tour map button you actually see a Google map in there all right um, so without this you wouldn't be seeing the Google Maps okay and the last API I want is the uh, places API so I'm going to select that and enable that and so when we type in or when we're searching for a place within Pano 2 VR to actually see the place names and everything you need this API as well okay so that's basically my project set up and what I need to do now is create the credentials. So what are the credentials? Well, the credentials are actually the API keys that we're going to use within Pano 2 VR. So if I click uh, credentials, it says create credentials and API key. And there is the key. All right. And then what I'm going to do now is click restrict key. All right. Now I'm going to change the name of it because I wanted to be able to, uh, to recognize which key is for what. So I'm going to call this street street view there we go and this particular key um, it can't have any application restrictions or as it won't work um, but it does need its api restrictions so we need to restrict it to those three apis that i wanted if you look at the drop down box you'll see there's actually quite a few in there so what we're going to do is lock it down to those three so i want the geocoding um, i also want the maps javascript and I also want the Places API. Here we go, so that's those three done. I'm gonna click Save, and that's saving those um, three APIs to this key. Now, to use this within Pano 2 VR, you click the Copy button, there we go, and we're gonna open Pano 2 VR. Now, for the Mac, Pano 2 VR and Preferences, it's File Settings for the PC, under the Advanced tab, and we now paste in the API key. There you go. And now this is going to be used for the Street View panel. All right, so that's what that key is going to be used for. Okay, so let's close Pano 2 VR. And that will take us back to our um, Google account. 
And what I want to do now is generate another API key to be used within the map element within the skin editor. So the way we're going to do that is we're just going to create some more credentials to my Pano 2 VR project. So I'm going to go back to the main menu, um, API and services, credentials, and this time around we get a create, create credentials button. So we're going to select that and again an API key. Um, there's the key and we're going to restrict the key. Now this time round I'm just going to call it GMAPS because it's going to be to display um, G maps in the skin, so G map skin, all right. Um, and this time round, application restrictions, I'm going to give it an HTTP refers restriction. So we're going to lock it to a domain. Now the reason being is that this key will be displayed in the HTML page. If you look in the code of the HTML page, you'll be able to see this key. Now, one of the things we're going to have to do in a minute is associate this project to a billing account and it will need billing details. So it's important that this key is locked to a domain because if somebody copies your key and uses it and it's not locked to a domain, it will then start to cost you money. However, Google do give you $200 a month credit and these um, APIs, as you're using them, obviously take a bit of credit. Now, if you're, you know, if, if you're a normal user, I would say that you probably won't get any billing at all. You probably won't get billed for anything at all. But if this is your main business and you're doing a lot of Google searches and places and, and, and opening up lots of Google Maps, then obviously it could start to incur costs. So this is why this particular key, because it can be seen on the outside world, we're locking it down to a domain. The other thing you can do is obviously create credentials. If you're producing tours for other people, you can actually create credentials um, uh, or API keys for individual customers, or you ask your customers to get their own key and use that within the project on their website. Okay, so I'm gonna lock this down to our um, website, so HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and gtme dot com. There we go. So that's that one locked down. And I'm going to give it the API restriction as well of the map because this is the only API this key requires. All right, to work. So not only are we locking it down to a domain, we're also locking it down that it's only going to use the map JavaScript. It can't use anything else. So I'm going to click save and that will generate our second API key. All right, okay. And here you can see it says its restrictions are HTTP refers and one API. The street view key we did earlier is restricted to three APIs. And again, the same as we did before, we can click copy. Um, but what I'm gonna do now is open Pano 2 VR, then open the skin editor. And then what I'm gonna do is add a map element paste in the API key into the map element. And then what I can do is right button click, create component from selection. Uh, let's just call it a uh, map with API and add a component to the toolbox. So every time I wanna use a map um, to display a project on my own domain, I can just go to the components toolbox. Just make sure that you don't share it with anyone else. Okay, so that's that. What I'm gonna do is now go back to um, website and look at how we add billing. Now, with all these API keys, you might find that when you open up a map, it will say that, you know, that it's not set up correctly because you will need to add a billing account. So basically, if you just go to the main menu, um, look under billing, and then it will say that there is no billing account um, associated with this project and you'll then create a billing account. There you go, that's how to add API keys to uh, Pano 2 VR for the Street View panel and for the um, map element within the skin. And as always, thanks for watching.